Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. This is the last video of my TinyML course series. In the previous videos, we have discussed how to train and deploy machine learning models for audio sync classification, anomaly detection, speech recognition, and other tasks to wire terminal, a compact production-ready development board from C Studio. Wire terminal, while being convenient for experiments due to presence of multiple built-in sensors uh, and the case might be a bit too bulky for some applications, for example, wearables. In the last video, we'll, uh, we'll go even tinier and use Siduino Xiao boards, namely the original Xiao and the newer Xiao RP2040. And also I'll mention Xiao BLE. So here is original Xiao. As you can see, it's a bit larger than my thumbnail. Spec-wise, original Xiao at the time of launch was likely the smallest M0 development board available and was packing quite a punch for its size with ARM Cortex-M0 Plus 48MHz microcontroller and 256KB of flash. Later, RP2040 chip arrived and delivered even better specs for Cortex-M0 Plus design. Both are quite capable of running the tiny neural networks we will have for this project, but if you have some more demanding applications, it does make sense to choose Xiao RP2040 over the original Xiao. As a software engineer, I, like many of you, I'm sure, spend a lot of time in front of glowing screen in my chair. And later in the day, it becomes difficult to maintain the proper pose if there were only was a way to make a device that could learn your specific body position for proper and wrong poses and warn you when you slouch too much or go into so-called Python pose. Wait a moment, there he is! The best sensor for the task that will provide the data for machine learning model is obviously accelerometer. All of Xiao series boards uh, because of their very small size, do not come equipped with accelerometer sensor. While we could use Xiao expansion board for development and testing, the, uh, it eliminates the low footprint advantage Xiao boards have. If you're going to create your own product, the better option would be to create your own custom PCB board for the chip or SOM. I asked our hardware engineer to design a simple carrier board for Xiao that would include LIS 3DH accelerometer, a buzzer, and a battery connector with a power switch. Then uh, we used the Studio Fusion service to print some PCBI samples. For that, go to seedstudio.com fusion.pcb.html and upload the Gerber files, which contain the PCB design. Then choose the proper parameters for the board, such as number of layers, base material, minimum drill hole size, and so on. We can see that simple two-layer board is approximated to cost 4.9 USD for 10 pieces plus shipping cost. If you'd like to repeat the experiment without custom PCB, you can connect Groove uh, LIS 3DH accelerometer module to Xiaomi expansion board and start collecting the data. I collected three data samples for each posture. 60 seconds with a device attached to T-shirt on my back. For each sample, I maintained the same pose, but I included some arm, head, and torso movements to simulate normal activity. I have chosen five second time window with window shift of one second and flattened processing block, since we're dealing with slow moving data. A very plain, fully connected network provided good accuracy. Some improvement can be made by collecting more data and making sure proper and improper postures can be recognized with some variations in device positioning on the clothes. Since the device is sought to be individual usage device, it does not need to generalize to different people's postures and can be easily retrained. 
you can check how well it detects your posture after training in live classification tab. After you're satisfied with accuracy, download the resulting model as Arduino library and copy it to your Arduino sketch libraries folder. You can download sample code that would collect five second sample, perform the inference and turn on the buzzer if one of the improper poses is detected. Since it's relatively slowly changing data and we do not need to uh, respond fast, normal sequential inference pipeline suits the application well. A step above that would be to use the newest Xiaomi BLE and connect the device to user's smartphone, which would allow for better alerts, statistics, and so on. I will discuss it in more details in the R Company article because Xiaomi BLE is work in progress currently. It's going to be launched very soon. Hope you enjoyed my tiny ML course video series and learned a lot about machine learning on microcontrollers. Tinkering with machine learning on smallest of devices has been truly an eye-opening experience for me after executing much larger models on SBCs and servers. If you'd like to continue learning about that topic, have a look at the free courses by Coursera and Edge Impulse. Cheers! And until the next time.